Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. So this company called Maxi Charger Auto sent me a charger for my 2022 Tesla Model 3 and probably you guys saw my Tesla in the background of the car review videos that I do. So uh, I did agree to it and um, they sent me one to make a video and post it on YouTube. So um, basically it's a plug and play uh, charger. All you have to do is plug it into the dryer outlet you have I have the 1450 NEMA, so uh, I am using the Tesla mobile connector that came with the car. I don't think it comes with the car anymore. I think it's a $200 option um, when you order your Tesla, which really sucks because for my car, it was almost 70,000 with all the fees, taxes, and uh, all the stuff they add uh, to it. So outdoor, it was like 68 or 69,000. And uh, for them not to include the Tesla, a mobile connector it really sucks so this company sent me this charger and it is uh it's around 550 600 dollars uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put the prices and uh, everything basically in the bottom of this video so in the video description for you guys to check it out so let me go ahead and mount it install it and uh, show you all the features it has and um show you the charging speed because the charging speed is much better than the tesla charger and uh it is 42 amps the Tesla connector is only 32 amps. I do have a 60 amp breaker, so we are good. So let me go ahead and uh, unbox this product and show you all the features it has. So here is a box, and the box looks pretty good, and um, the packaging overall is nice. It did come in a uh, bigger box than this one, but uh, yeah, overall, it does look good. I did open it, and uh, everything just feels and looks uh, good and very high quality. And uh, this one is the separate holster, so uh, there is one that is built into the charger, and there uh, there is a separate one. This one is the separate one. The one that is built into it basically is in the middle, so that's where you plug the charger in if you're not using it or if it's not plugged into your car. But let's go ahead and open this box, and I'll show you how everything looks like and uh, show you the packaging. So, as I said, the packaging looks good, and I did open it, as I said, uh, just to take a look at it, and uh, I did uh, test it. Uh, the cables were uh, organized much better than uh, this, but that's how the charger looks like, and honestly, um, looks very high quality, and overall, um, I think they did a great job with the design and uh, the way how this charger looks like. And um, this is, by the way, an LCD screen, so it does display a few things on it. And by the way, it does have internet and Bluetooth, so you could plug it in your ethernet cable and uh, you could connect it to Bluetooth. You could download their app, by the way. And the best thing about this charger is that it does communicate with uh, the Tesla the app, so you could actually know what percent your car is from your Tesla app. So that's a good thing about this. And um, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, take it out of the box and uh, show you how it looks like from the back and everything. So here is the charger. It does look good. It has a really nice solid feel to it. It does say auto right here. And by the way, you cannot just plug this straight into your Tesla. You have to have the adapter, the small tiny adapter. I'll go ahead and show you that in a bit. And uh, yeah, overall, this thing just feels nice and solid. And uh, that's how you release the uh, charger from your car. And this is the NEMA 1450. So you just plug this into the dryer outlet you have. And uh, that's it. So I'm gonna unplug my charger, my Tesla charger connector, my mobile connector, and then plug this um, into the outlet and that's it and then uh, all I have to do is just mount it and uh, start using it So it is very very easy. You don't have to connect any cables into the, the panel You don't have to do anything just plug this straight into where the mobile connector was and that's it and mount the device So inside this box there is the holster so the screws for it the holster itself does feel nice and solid and there is the mount for the holster. So that's the mount. And by the way, this device right here does have a mount, it is behind it. So let me go ahead and show you that. And here is the mount for the charger itself. So let's go ahead and open it. 
and show you how it looks like before I install it. So that's it. And the screws are inside this bag. So I really love the packaging. Everything feels nice and solid. And even the metal just has a really nice thickness to it. It feels nice and solid. So let's go ahead and mount this device and plug it in and connect it to my car. And I'll show you the features it has. So that's where my test like mobile connector is connected to. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it now and plug the maxi uh, charger uh, in this outlet and mount it on the right side. With the top screw, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom screw and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the holster right there next to it and uh, basically that's where the uh, charge uh, charger is going to go into. But yeah, I think it does look pretty good. So let me go ahead and finish and uh, show you uh, the end result. Alright, so I just finished installing everything. As you guys see, the charger is on the right, the holster is right there, and of course the charger is plugged into the outlet. I did keep my old mount, and uh, the only reason I did is because I wanted to be able to put the cable on it. The holster isn't really big enough to actually hold the whole cable, so I'm not exactly sure what they were thinking when they did that. So. Um, you definitely guys need something like this to be able to rest or to put the cable on but everything looks good i'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the tesla and uh, show you the uh, charging speed so that's how it looks like from far away i'm gonna go ahead and pull my car in and plug it in and uh yeah i just love the fact that it's hidden underneath by the way i'm sorry about the mess up there but i personally think the placement of this charger is very very good Again guys, the charger charges at 40 amps and uh, the Tesla connector, mobile connector charges at 32 amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and compare the speeds and uh, tell you uh, the speed difference between the mobile connector and this one. As I mentioned, the new charger that I received is not compatible with uh, Tesla's. So we have to use this adapter that came with the mobile charger. And here's the holster, charger looks good. And let's go ahead and plug this in. And just clicked and it is charging. And even inside the car, it does say it's charging. And by the way, guys, you do have to change the app on uh, the app itself. So you have to download the Autil app, Maxi Charger, and basically adjust the amps because it's going to be set on 32 but you have to go in the app and change it, change it to 40 amps uh, to be able to charge at higher speed. And as you guys see, charger looks good. It's a little bit on the bigger side, definitely bigger than the Tesla charger, but it does look pretty good. And uh, what sucks about it is that even if you click this button, the charge port is not gonna open. With the Tesla uh, charger, 
Uh, you click the button, uh, the charge port will open, but I don't think that's a big uh, deal. All you have to do to remove it, click the button and remove it, and then you have to unlock the car to be able to remove this. And uh, this is what happens when you actually remove it because the car detects, detects that there is no charger plugged in, so it does close it. So um, it's recommended to remove the whole thing if you can. All right, so the car is currently charging, and as you guys see, it is charging at 34 miles per hour, and it is at 40 amp, and you could adjust this, you could lower it down and bring it up. And honestly, I thought this charger would be a little bit faster. Uh, they did claim that it does charge at 44 miles per hour, but probably uh, on different cars, but on my Tesla, it is currently charging at 34, and on the mo mobile connector, it was charging at uh, 25 26 so there is about um, 10 miles per hour difference between the mobile connector and this one is it really worth the price I honestly have mixed feelings about it the product looks good it is nice and I really like the fact that it's nice and solid but 500 bucks for an extra 10 miles per hour I don't think it's worth it that much honestly but it might be worth it for some people for the people that drive a lot and stuff I think maybe maybe that's good but um, yeah, just only 10 miles per hour isn't really a huge or big uh, difference between the mobile connector. So what do I think about this charger? I think it's pretty good. I love the fact that the cable is nice and big. It is nice and thick. Uh, the charger overall feels nice and solid. Even the buttons and everything just feels very high quality. And uh, I love the fact that it's easy to mount and uh, it's plug and play that's the best thing about it but something that i really don't like about this charger is it's not as fast as i thought it would be so there's not a huge difference between this one and the mobile connector so this one is charging at 34 miles per hour the tesla connector that one that came with the car it charges at uh 25 26 so yeah i really wish that this charged a little bit faster i really wish it charged around 40 miles per hour it would have been nice but overall, the charger feels and looks good, and I think this one is better than the Tesla wall-mounted one, the one that gets connected straight to the electric panel. It is, I think, around the same price. I think, I think the Tesla wall-mounted one is around uh, $400, $500, and this one is around $500 bucks too. So similar in price, but for this one, you don't have to get a technician out to plug it straight into the electrical panel. Uh, with the Tesla one, you have to get a technician out to plug it in for you. So that's going to be more money, of course. But it's not a bad charger. I like it, but I really wish that the car was charging a little bit faster. But overall, it's good. So I am happy with the way how it came out. And uh, overall, it's a really nice charger. I'm going to go ahead and put everything in the bottom of this video. So all the links and everything will be in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.